Pollution, illegal fishing, over-exploitation and climate change have become major threats to aquatic ecosystems. We need to change how the planet's marine and freshwater resources are managed. It is very important to address these uh, challenges because oceans and inland waters are the future of humankind. The blue world can feed the world. It can do it with low ecological imprint and it can do it on a sustainable basis. We've been working on economics or social issues or environmental issues, but we haven't necessarily done a good job in actually integrating all three into one coherent force. That's what's different about the Blue Growth Initiative. Fortunately, there is a wide consensus and agreement on what should be done. And at the center of this is the Code of Conduct for Responsible Fisheries. It covers capture activities as well as aquaculture. And it lays out the principles and the approaches that we should take to manage these resources sustainably. It's very important that we move in a fast and collective way to its full implementation. States need to put in place vigorous policies so that their ports do not receive and service fishing vessels that have engaged in illegal fishing. Market states should play their role not to import fish that was caught illegally. And flag states should not lend their flags to fishing vessels that are suspect of being engaging in illegal fishing. The challenges that we face in our oceans, diverse, but the Blue Growth Initiative creates the one wave, the one way forward so that we can actually come together and address them.